Okay, so let's take a look at the, the two verses in Little Wing. It's basically the same chord progression that we did in the intro, and you basically go through that chord progression twice, and he, those are the verses. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get right into it. When the drums come in after the intro, the easiest way to find it, it starts with this little, you know, another little thing like we did kind of in the intro to start, but, but you actually have three or four st strings in a bar with your first finger. To, to know how to time that, as soon as the drums start, do two counts of four. So just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and on the second four, you hit uh, that, that little chord cluster, and then you let the open E string hit on the one. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so from there we have, it's a, it's a trill from the zero, uh, the fourth string open to the second fret back and forth. And he has this open B string in there too. So the way I kind of uh, do it, it might have been a mistake on the recording, but uh, you can just use your second finger and kind of hit that string. Use your uh, second, your middle finger to pluck that string as you pluck the D, and then just do a quick little trill. And it doesn't last very long. Then he starts, just holds the E and goes down, up, down, up. And a really muted, really lightly and muted. And then we're gonna go what? Uh, open fourth string, hammer to pull off, and then the same thing on the fifth string. So we go. And then we make it down to the G. You can play that with your second finger this time instead of your thumb. And then we're gonna have this little figure on top of it. Basically all that is, is you're holding your first finger at the second fret third string and your third finger at the third fret second string. And you pick the two, the third string, pull that off to zero. Then come back with it, put it, put it back on it, put both notes now, slide up two frets, and come slide back down, all in one hit. And then you pull back off to the, to the open G string, and then come back with the first finger again and hit the, both those notes together again. We have, so that comes from that G. Sorry. Then we come to the A over the A minor chord. You hit, you play this low A, fifth string, fifth fret. I mean, sorry, fifth fret, sixth string, and then go. That's kind of similar to the intro. We got that bar across the fifth fret with your first finger. Play the nine on the fourth string with that five on the third together. Just the two middle strings. Then come down the seven. Then the two fives, all middle strings, just the third and fourth string, and then do that five, that eight, five, five chord, the eight on the fifth string. Then we go to the two fives at the fourth and fifth, hammer on to that seven on the fifth string, and then do the same thing at, on these two strings, this third and fourth string. So then we have so far. So now we got the open E string, and we do this over. And that is similar again to the intro. You hit that low E, and then hit that eight. You got the bar across the seventh fret, the eighth fret with your second finger. Do a quick hammer pull at the 10 with your pinky on that same second string. And then you hit the third string, seven. And then hold that for a brief moment. Two, and then just pick across the string. 
very lightly. These dynamics, is the best thing about it is the dynamics that he uses. It goes in and out, hits things harder, then makes things really soft. So that's what you want to really try to listen for when you're playing. So we have up, 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 just across that eight, seven, 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 all the way down to the fifth string. Then we have the B. So we're going to back to holding this B to the um, with your thumb, and then you're going to do this little figure on top of it. All right. So let's look at that. We have little. That's all over a B minor chord is where he's doing this. So you can see where you, how you can embellish it. Those little chords. So we have this B, and then you're going to go seven with your first finger, first string, uh, and then ninth fret, back to seven, then over to the ten on the second string, then seven on the second string. So then come down to the third string, pick seven and do a hammer pull. Hammer on nine, pull off the seven, and then come over and play the nine on the four strings. We have. So that's all over the B minor. Then the next little phrase goes over that little changing chord. Remember we had this. So over that A flat chord, we do this, which is the seventh fret, second finger, hammer on eight, pull off back to seven, then hit that eight on the four strings. So we have over the B minor then, and then move that back to the, the seven to start the, um, uh, obviously the A minor portion of it. So we have, and then do the bar again set up. I'm going to do this figure. And that is on the two middle strings again, the seven with the five here. Just like we did earlier, down to the eight, five, 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 and but this time go. After you play that eight, bring it down to seven with your third finger on the fifth string, and then kind of do this little hammer on between the two. You kind of using the seven as a grace note into that seven while you're still hitting these strings. Then we take it down to the G chord over the G on the, the third finger um, um, with your thumb. We do that bar. We're back down to that kind of this shape that we did earlier in the intro. Bar the two threes with your first finger on the first and second string. And take your, as soon as you hit this chord, you're going to hit it with the suspended chord first. You, you're going to have this third finger at the fifth fret. And you're going to hit this. You're going to go. So we got the five there. Then you release that to the four with those two top notes. And then you have that five on the four strings. So it goes. All right, then we're to the F chord and we do that little shift that. So that is just basically the same thing as the intro with the, with the third fret, fourth string, second, the third string open first finger at the sec first fret second string and then pinky on the third uh, fret on the first string and you get that low F going on the with the thumb on the bass. So first you hit just these four strings and then you come back down, slide up two frets, come back down and then do the other. You can just go F to F or get some of the chord in there too, but you kind of want to keep coming back and hitting this F on the low, sixth string. Then we just go to C major, standard C major chord, and then that same power chord, fifth fret, that's the end of the first verse, and then the beginning of the second verse, you just let that open, you do a little slide, let that open string ring. And we have this cool little lick here. So this is over E minor. Bar the second, 12th fret of the first and second string. Take that 
hammer onto the 14th fret on the second string and pull back off to that 12 while still letting this note ring. Then come down and play 14 and 12 on the third string. Try to let that top E ring a little bit. And then come down to the 12 on the uh, fourth string. Do a hammer pull from 15 back to, I mean to, to 14, back to 12. Then the same thing on the fifth string. Then catch the G chord, and we have this same, that two and three on the second, the third string, the little two, and then the third fret on the second string with the second, the first and third finger, and do this note. And that's just, so pick it, slide up, back down, back up, two frets, same chord. And then come back down to the second fret and slide it up two frets and then just pick it down there. So we have pick, slide, back, slide, pick, slide, and then just pick. That one was a little bit quicker there. Then we take it to the A minor chord in the progression. Hold this low A, the fifth fret with your first finger. Then we go and that is just seven, five, seven. Then do a quick hammer from five to seven on the fifth string, then back to five, and back to seven. Or back to the E minor little progression thingy. That same figure with a little hammer on at the eight and 10, and back, and back hit the seven on the middle string. And then lightly be kind of riding this E on the 5th string, 7th fret, and then do a hammer on from 7 to 9 on the 4th string. And then we have our next B minor figure here. Hold this B, low B on the, with your thumb on the 6th string a little while, and then just do this. That's just that 7 and 9, 10 and 7 here, back to 7 and 9, and then 7, 7. And then we have that same 7-7. Seven, seven. And then... Um, that same little passing figure that we did in the intro. Then we have this quick little uh, hammer on when we get down to A minor, it goes... So that's just a quick little 5-5. Five, five, hammer on to 7 and pull back off. At the, on the second string, and then do those on the two middle strings, of course, the bar across the fifth fret, seven, back to nine, back to seven, five, five, to eight, five, five, and then that still five, five that we have on the fourth and fifth string, hammer on to the seventh fret, and then do the same thing on the middle two string, middle two strings, the third and fourth for a while. And then we have the G, the thumb. We have a quick little hammer pull. It's really quick sounding. It's kind of, it's kind of like that. Zero, two, and pull back off the thing. And then, and that is basically that same chord. Five, three, five, and then first fret. B major, and then back to that power chord, and then lead into the solo with the uh, the harmonics of the 12th fret from about the the four top string, four, four first strings. Just place your harmonic, and take your uh, tremolo bar and and just kind of depress it down, and then we're into the solo. <laughs> 